All right, y'all. So I tested 37 AI tools. So you don't have here are the eight that are going to be worth your money. And I hate to break it to most people. Most AI tools are a waste of time and money. I know because I've tested probably everyone over the past 90 days, 37 to be exactly. But there are eight that I use every day that have become a total non-negotiable in the business. These tools have cut my follow-up time down by 80%, made my meeting notes four times more actionable, generated 109K in pipeline, and eliminated the need to hire a bunch of people. So let's get into it. All right, first things first, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go through my follow-up tool, that's Distribute. And we use Distribute for like multiple use cases, everything from deal rooms to meeting follow-ups to business cases, mutual action plans, screen recording, you name it, it does everything for the modern day seller. So whether you're an accounting executive, whether you're running your own business or agency, or just basically the grind having to do sales, so we're gonna show you those today, all right? So first things first, let's go and let's look at some call recordings. I have some call recordings here. Here's one with my friend Austin. There's one with me. Let's go to one here with Austin, all right? So from here, this is gonna have our call recording, something like Fathom or Fireflies, but it's gonna let you allow you to take it to the next level. So with here, we have our summary. We have our transcript, right? We have the ability to copy this text. We'll do whatever we want to do here. I'm going to say, all right, now I want to create a page based on this. So I'm going to hit create page with AI, hit next. And then I'm going to say, let's say he worked at Gong. Do Gong, type of page. Let's say we want a simple call follow-up. It's going to look at our call as a knowledge source. I'm going to hit generate outline and it's going to actually generate an outline for me based on this call. And we'll hit generate a page. And now you can actually see that we are creating this meeting overview and the Apollo extension does this weird thing to our editor. So anyways, now you can go ahead and create this quick follow-up, but what you can also do is add to this follow-up, which is awesome. So let's say this is our standard follow-up here that we've created, deals tab. But now what we can do is we, let's name this tab and let's name it like follow-up. But let's say we want to create a new tab and maybe add a business case, right? Or add like testimonials or add some other thing that's going to provide social proof in our follow-ups. We can easily do that. All right. That's it there. I'm not going to go any more into detail because you guys get the idea. Next, what we're going to do is talk about deal rooms. So now from a deal room perspective, we're in our deal room, right? We've started a deal with a person. Now what we can do is continue to build out this space. And let's say they want some product information. I can come in here insert my content that I have saved within Distribute. So this is the content management aspect. I can do that. I can include videos I've recorded for certain people. If I wanted to create my follow-up page, add my calls, or bring in a template that I have already created. Let's say ROI calculator, replace the content. And now what we've done is created my ROI calculator template here. Now, as you build this out, this is considered a deal room, right? If you're working complex deals, Maybe you'll have business cases, mutual action plans, all that fun stuff, right? So but that's essentially what you can do. Now, another thing that I like to do here, once I bring in content, I like to hone in on some of the content or add a few things. So let's go to Ask Dante here. Now, this is like cursor for sales. So what you can do is say, hey, I want to create an FAQ on distribute for my client. Boom hit enter. And then once you do that, it's going to think and it's going to add an FAQ, right? Boom. So what we just did is add an FAQ and it went through and let's actually accept all these changes. So it replaced that content with an FAQ on that page. If you wanted to do that, if you were like, Hey, I didn't want to replace that content. You could have hit reject, right? Something you can do with our agent here, ask Dante. And then once you're ready to share this, you can click share it with the prospect and then you'll be able to attract engagement. So you'll get an email when they see everything that you do, right? So if you open the, if they open the deal room, read through a certain tab, it'll tell you how long they're on that tab. So you're going to get those signals that you can use. If they forward this page along to someone else in their organization, guess what? You're going to be able to see that and you're going to see that you're multi-threading, right? So that's definitely something that you can dive in on. Now, let me look at my list here. What else are we using today? Oh, the screen recorder. I use our screen recorder, which is awesome. We have an extension here. So you can open this extension and this screen recorder is going to essentially be like your loom for sales. But what it is, is that it's also actually like saving all your videos in one place so that you can take these videos eventually and put them 
onto your follow-up pages or your deal room, whatever you want to call it, right? That is one thing that you can always do there. Now, what's amazing here is I'm able to actually track all the pages that I create. So you can see that I create a bunch of deal rooms for specific accounts, but I also create lead magnets that I put on LinkedIn. So again, lead magnets, if you haven't already, I have this tiny little sequences lead magnet. You can see it got 7,000 page views, 4,200 unique visitors. And I could come here. Here's that page I created. And let's see all, you can see all the analytics there from people that have viewed that specific page there. All right. So just an idea there of what you can actually do. All right. That's the analytics piece on that. You can see basically who's viewing what, how long they're viewing. And now let's go to content management. I like this part. So the snippets area, this snippets area is where you can actually create categories of content. So white papers, testimonials, videos, decks, anything you want to actually save and that you're constantly using in your deal cycles, you can actually save within a cat credit category, put those snippets in there, product screenshots, right? All that fun stuff. So you're going to be able to do all that super simply there. And that is our content management part. So cool. Another the distribute pitch, but I truly do build, I built this for myself, right? We built it for our own use cases, everything that you need to create follow-up content. Now let's go into the next tools that we use when you're prospecting that's for more in deal. So we started mid funnel there. Now let's back it up and go top of funnel on the top of funnel side. There's a few things that, you know, we do. So first thing that we do is we're going to need data, right? Data on who should we contact? Who's a good fit? who is our ICP. And so there's a couple of things that I do to do that. The first thing that I do is go to Apollo. Apollo has a great filtering item here. So you can search like, give me people with X title and X industry and X country and X whatever it may be, you can do that. And then to get actually all that data that's filtered, I use exportlists.io and this allows you to actually export that. You just grab the URL from your search give it to them. And then within a couple of hours, they'll send you the list of all the, of all the emails. Now, when you get those emails, what you still want to do is validate them, right? Because you don't want to put them in your email sequencing tool. I use instantly. Ooh, that's another one we should add. I use instantly here. So let's go to instantly. But before we put the data in there, what I actually do is I validate it. Now, how do I validate it? I actually throw it into lead magic. So lead magic, you can upload that list that you were sent by export list throw it in there. It'll actually validate the emails because what you don't want to do is have a bunch of bounces because then your campaigns will stop and then you burn your domains. Okay. So validate with export it, go to Apollo, find your list, export it, upload it to lead magic to validate and then send. That is the idea. Now from a data standpoint, I don't only use Apollo. I use a great tool called Scrapely. So this will give you competitors, followers from their LinkedIn accounts. People follow their LinkedIn account. Very useful because those people may not be in market necessarily, but they understand maybe what your product does, right? Or they've taken a look at your product. And for me, I do this not to say, Hey, I need to get every deal now, but to, I call it the plant, the seed method, right? Which is essentially planting the seed that, Hey, if you're ever looking for a deal room or AI follow-ups distributes there. Right. And so we're basically building, we're marketed essentially is what I look at it as. So that's a good thing to do. And instantly is not loading for whatever reason. There it is. Cool. So here's instantly, I use this smart lead is also great. So if you want to go ahead and send a bunch of emails, you can also use smart lead. I'm very good friends with the guy who started smart lead as well. Though I actually use a little bit of smart lead as well for certain campaigns. So highly recommend smart lead instantly do the same thing. Check those out. Now let's talk about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is obviously important. So do a lot of LinkedIn. I built a tool. Also for myself to do LinkedIn and automate it, right? I'm a one man show, you know, what we're on the go-to-market side, at least we have a bigger team and they're the best, but on the go-to-market side, it's just me now. So what do we do to run a one man go-to-market team? I built the tool that I wanted, right? And so if we take a look here, let's actually log in and we're going to log in and what this tool will do, let's log into my main account actually. Okay. So here's my main account. What does this tool do? What I love is every day it's going to email you and say, Hey, we have a post ready for you based on your business and all the information you gave us. So when you onboard to this tool, it's super cool. It asks for all your stuff. We've actually trained a, the model on a bunch of top performing posts. So everything that's created for you is going to be based on top performing posts. Now, the fun part is that you can actually create a post type schedule where every day you list the kind of posts that you want. So for example, if I want to do Monday, 
I want to do a contrarian post insights, how to a personal story. There's five types of posts that really do well on LinkedIn, right? So what we're doing here is awesome. Like you're saying, Hey, Monday, I want personal story. Tuesday, I want how to Wednesday. I want a contrarian that way you're switching up your post type, right? And you're able to do that. And we're actually going to create you viral where the posts each day in each of these categories that you set, and you'll be able to set this in onboarding too. So it's super cool. And then also we'll create those posts for you and you can add media videos, images that you use, and then you want to put alongside your post. So when we generate it, let's take a look here, edit and schedule. It'll pull up the post that it made for you. You can edit it as you wish, right? This is a notion like experience. So you can do some of these other items here. If you would like bullet list, number list, et cetera. And then what you'll be able to do here is after you're done writing the caption content, you can say, Hey, I want to upload an image from my library or use AI generation. And let's say we want to generate an image of a business person in a modern office setting, right? We'll go here and give me a second and it'll go ahead and generate you an image. So we can select one, use it and boom, we have that image, which is amazing. Uh, you can also add a text overlay. Hey, how are you today? And then you could say, I want it on the bottom, the top here centered, and I want the text small. Great. And then next, here's a little preview for you. Boom. And then you can schedule it to send out now, right? So there's your LinkedIn tool, schedule it. It'll be added on your calendar and that's it. There you go. So that's what I use for LinkedIn posts every day. So I just wake up, it says you have a LinkedIn post ready to go through it and hit post. So as easy as that. All right, y'all. So that's the eight slash nine tools that we use today in order to run our business, right? So we focus on cold email. You can tell the channels we use are cold email and LinkedIn. And those are enough for us. Why we only use those two channels is because anyone that has built businesses before will tell you focus on one and two channels to start. That's the most important and get really freaking good at those channels. Don't listen to the people that are saying, Hey, cold email is dead. No, cold email is not dead. They just haven't adapted to what's working with cold email. And I'll do a whole nother video on that, but I hope y'all enjoy this. Those are the tools that I use daily and I freaking hope you love it. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I could send these right over to you. All right. Thank you.